If you watched the first part of this video, you saw me drink some of this rum. I'm continuing to drink some of this rum. And gave a quick rundown on the, the very basic principles of nuclear physics, the, the inside of an atom. But now we're going to talk about radioactive decay. Uh, decay with a D. Not that George Takei doesn't have a D, but he surely wants one. Ayo! Swoosh. Get it? Because he's gay. He likes penises. First, alpha radiation. Alpha radiation is when the parent nucleus gives off a helium nucleus. That is a bundle of two protons and two neutrons. For example, if a uranium-235 atom goes through alpha radiation, it becomes a thorium-231 atom and a helium-4 atom. It becomes a different atom. What? I don't know. What? What? That's what I said. I don't know about you, but that sounds like f***ing magic to me. Alpha radiation can be bad since because it is the helium atom with two protons it needs two electrons to balance out its charge, and so it has to take them from something else. If these alpha particles get inside of you, they can take away the electrons that hold your molecules together, like your DNA, and that can really fuck you up. Cancer. Luckily, electrons are everywhere, so like, even a piece of paper, or the very, very outer layer of your skin, can stop them, and so they can't really get into your body unless you like, ingest them, which I wouldn't recommend doing. Don't do that. It's bad. Another shot. Another shot for alpha radiation. So alpha radiation. This was a better idea on paper. Next, beta radiation. Sometimes the balance of protons to neutrons is off and we got more neutrons than we need to hold everything together. Then something crazy happens. A neutron becomes a proton. What? Is anything real anymore? Remember how I said to think of a neutron as having both charges instead of none? Now is why I told you to think of that. Because I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna talk about it right now. The neutron shoots out an electron, causing it to lose that negative charge and therefore leaving behind a positive charge. A proton! What? It's f***ing magic. This electron has tons of kinetic energy. It is flying. It is fl flying. It's not quite as powerful as alpha radiation, but it can penetrate way farther, making it just as, if not more, dangerous. And if it slams into one of your protons, it can turn it back into a neutron. And if this happens in your DNA chain, it can really mess things up again. Cancer! To beta radiation. Cheers. Goodness gracious, science can be dangerous. The last kind of radiation I want to talk about is gamma radiation. An atom can exist in an excited, also known as a metastable state, if it has excess mass. This is where things get a little weird. You probably remember learning about the conservation of mass rules and the conservation of energy rules, which say that mass cannot be created or destroyed. Same with energy, it cannot be created, it cannot be destroyed. Well, on the chemical level, this is true, but on the nuclear level, everything goes out the window. Shown in Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared, energy and mass can be interchangeable. When a metastable atom needs to release its excess mass, it converts it into energy. What? F magic! When you convert mass into energy, a little bit of mass becomes a huge amount of energy. So the atom releases gamma radiation in the form of photons. On the electromagnetic spectrum, gamma waves are the king. They are the LeBron James of electromagnetic radiation. They have more energy than all other forms of light. They can penetrate super, super deep. And if they hit your molecules, they can really, really mess things up. Cancer! One last to gamma radiation. Boom! Drunk nuclear particle physics. What up?
I bet she didn't know you could learn so much from a drunk guy. I need to take a nap. Bros, I'll see you on Monday.